Today on Bakes and Blenders, we're going to be using sourdough discard to make a delicious loaf of sourdough bread that's also made with whole wheat flour. Let's get started. This bread is really easy to make, but it is going to take you about two days. Luckily, most of the work is hands off. Add your water, unfed sourdough starter, honey, bread flour, whole wheat flour, and salt to a bowl. You can use a Danish whisk, a spoon, or your hands to combine. Once the dough is basically all combined, you're probably gonna have some dry pockets of flour hanging out on the bottom. Use your hands or a bench scraper or bowl scraper to incorporate that into your dough. It's gonna look shaggy, that's okay. Then cover the bowl and set it aside to rest for 15 minutes. Time for the first fold. Lightly wet your hands and uncover your bowl. Grab a portion of your dough gently, stretch it up, and fold it back down into the center of the dough and press. Turn the bowl a quarter, repeat this, stretch up, fold into the center, turn a quarter, stretch up again, fold back down, quarter turn, and one final stretch and fold. Cover your bowl and set aside for another 15 minutes. That was your first set of folds. It's time for your second set of folds. We'll be doing three sets total. As you do these stretch and folds, you'll notice that the dough is becoming less shaggy and it's becoming less sticky, smoother, and just more beautiful in general. Cover and rest the dough for another 15 minutes. Now it's time for your third and final set of stretch and folds. You'll find the recipes used in this video in the description box below. After your final set of folds, you're going to cover the bowl very tightly and just leave it on your counter for about 12 hours. Our dough has had plenty of time to rise, so now it's time to shape it. I don't have a Benetton, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, so I'm making my own version, okay? What works best for me is taking a mixing bowl that I like the shape of that's going to give me the shape of the sourdough bowl that I want and then line it with cling wrap, two sheets of it, making an X so that the entire mixing bowl is covered. Then I can lightly flour it and make sure it's well covered so that nothing's going to stick, then set that aside. Of course, if you do have a Benetton, just use that. Now we're ready to shape our dough. Use a bowl scraper to gently remove all of your dough from the bowl. To shape the dough, I like to first start by folding the dough into itself in four directions and then it's kind of like a square shape and grab those corners, so to speak, and pull those in to make a loose mound. Flip the dough over and you're going to want to use your hands to slide the ball on your counter to seal that bottom edge. Now if your dough is very sticky, some days it's going to be very sticky, it helps to use your bowl scraper to just pull while trying to tighten up that ball of dough, pull it towards you. Once you're happy with the shape and look of your dough, grab your Benetton and place your dough in the bowl's seam side up. So the pretty side of your dough is gonna be facing down. Cover the bowl tightly and place it in the fridge to chill for eight to 12 hours. First thing you wanna do the next morning is put your Dutch oven inside the oven and preheat the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Do this before you begin to prepare your dough. Now you can take your cold sourdough out of the fridge and flip it onto a piece of parchment paper. I like to do this with the help of a cutting board. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos.
If you did the homemade banneton like me, carefully remove your clean wrap. Then use the lame to carefully score your dough. You can also lightly flour your sourdough before you score it. I always forget this step though and I never do it. Aim to go about a quarter of an inch up to a half an inch deep in your dough and scoring is not my strength so I usually just stick to one line down the center or an X. Grab your hot Dutch oven, take the lid off, gently lower your sourdough into the pot, put the lid back on and bake for 20 minutes then remove the lid and continue baking about another 20 minutes or so. Let that hot crusty sourdough boule cool on a rack until it's no longer hot and then you can get to cutting it up. This sourdough is incredible. Super squishy soft inside, nice crusty outside. It's fantastic. I like to slice it up, toast it, put some butter on it, maybe some cinnamon sugar or honey, or it makes fantastic sandwiches. No matter how you want to enjoy this bread, you're gonna love it. I like to cut my sourdough bread right down the center and then I'll take half of it, double wrap it up, store it in the freezer until I need it. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you're excited to try making your own loaf of sourdough bread made with whole wheat flour. If you enjoyed this video or if you just love bread, you're going to want to check out my bread playlist up on the screen right now. I'll see you in the next one. Happy baking!